Hello, folks, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. All right, we've got a tough boss fight coming up. Come Not exactly may. sure where, but apparently it's above us. Be the tempest that blows clear this place. Gotta fight Catherick Thorm. I feel like we should have, like, really long rested there, but we need to go out and come back to do that, and I don't really think it's necessary. We did only a few spells. We'll try to rely more on... Uh, more on scrolls and actual spells. Oh, shit. Unless, of course, we have a fight before we get to the fight. Okay. Who are you guys? You guys are necromites. Okay. Do we have, like, an actual... So she's probably the one making the necromites happen here. So actually destroying the no time to waste. Undead themselves is probably a waste. If we can hit her. We need orb on her anyway. That's not bad. Okay. You're not gonna be able to get in there, are you? Over there. Uh, maybe a water whip to pull her over. Does that work? I might be able to do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and with that, then you can blurry a blows her. Uh, critical miss on one of them. That's too bad. A tail for Still the ages. Okay, then Gale comes in over. Damn it, the freaking. Okay, here we go. Coming over here should be fine. As long as you can see her. I can't. I can't right now. Step okay, to it. There. Good, good. I snack, maybe? It's gonna hit a lot more than I want to. Um, there, maybe? That might be fine. Good, good. I made her slip. That's actually great. She had to spend a turn getting up. Okay, she misty stepped away. A giant fireball, that sucks. Okay. Not, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, Shadow Art can finally get in here. Though it's gonna take her a while to get over. Got to press on. Alright, can we hit Regira? Seems like maybe a guidance. No, not uh, sorry. A uh, sacred flame or a guiding bolt might be good. Let's try guiding bolts. On you. Oh, okay, that was pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. In fact, an elder blast might take you out. Didn't take out her summons. Oh, I was really hoping it would take out her summons. Okay, well, so much for that. So much for that. I'm heating up. All right, you can definitely go ahead and take these guys out, though. Maybe if you can actually hit them, please. Why do you always miss your first hit? There you go. Flurry of blows. Actually, no, don't use the key points. Eh, we'll probably short rest afterwards anyway. Okay. I speak. They burn. All right, simple. Actually, not even that. Let's do a do a ray of frost. We get a little bit more damage with ray of frost. Oh, not quite enough to take him out though. Good miss. Shadow heart. You want to go ahead and poke this guy? Good guy. All right, let's do a nice little quick short rest. Get key points that back. Helped. What she have over here? A Mercolite Scourge. 2 to 14 damage. Some of it necrotic. When you miss an attack, deal 1 bludgeoning damage anyway. Okay, it's kind of garbage, really. Yeah, it's not great. Alright, add it to where's. Anything else in there? Uh, scrolls speak with dead. I don't know if that's handy at all. Glory of the Absolute. They do love their propaganda. Gilded Mortar and Pestle just seems excessive. Okay. Save the game. 
Let's go inside. Oh, it's locked. Come on, really? It's good to be Why would you just lock the door? I can't lock pick it. I mean, we can? No, no, we can totally be too hard. I mean, I would suspect we have the di the key for this, but I don't actually know that for sure. Okay. Because all the all the bad guys down the below had the key for this door, I'm pretty sure, but just in case, we just locked it. What's going on in here? Or we're not supposed to have to be in here. Uh, well, the bad guy fights apparently through here somehow. Um, these doors are all locked for some reason. Come on, let's Relax. go. Can't I just break it? Great moves, great moves. Weird. Okay, so it's somebody's bedroom. Uh, on my Krosis. Wooden chest. Sorry, conversation. That's weird. Oh, hello. It's a mimic. God damn it. Not actually a chest at all. It really should have waited. So, mimics. Maybe, okay. Um, so, mimics have sticky flesh. The idea is you're supposed to touch the top of the chest, then your hand gets stuck, and then the mimic can eat you at its leisure because you're stuck. This one was apparently really hungry and just uh, couldn't wait. Okay, so the radiating rope should make it a little easier to hit, okay. <laughs> Do a guiding light on it to you, a guiding bolt rather. Help. I did not like Shadow Heart. Gale, a nice little ray of frost in the sky to chill him. And then smack him. I wasn't too should have just waited. He should have just waited a little bit. He would have gotten an advantage on any Carlac. Stained letter. Uh, no, I wanted to read it. Sorry. My darling daughter, when you were a little girl, I would often watch you play with your dolls and your cousins and picture myself an enormous, opaque, a silvery shield surrounding you, protecting you. I knew somehow, deep within myself, that no harm could ever befall you, because I would not let it. Though the healers say I must pass into the City of Judgment soon, knowing this, my darling daughter... I'm always around you. I'm always with you. And the Moon Maiden will never allow you to bear a burden you cannot carry. I love you forever. A love that has no death. Signed, Mama. Spine Shutter Amulet. When the wearer deals damage with range spell attack, inflict two reverberation. Eh, I mean, the reverberation needs to add up to five to actually do any real damage, so no. Uh, there's some shoes in here. Not a whole lot of other things. Add to wares, 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 add to wares. That's it. Electric fire resistance. I don't know. It's going to be handy. All right. There's some roots in here. Don't know what that's supposed to do. I guess we're supposed to be able to climb down. A full body depiction of a tiefling. Your tiefling noble is shown at rest. Knuckles pressed a red flushed cheek like a roosting robin whose fiery breast has burned to encompass the bird. Okay. I mean, it's at least worth something, so... Gale. Ready and willing. Grab it, and add to wares. Oh, what do you mean can't reach it? It's right there. It's right there. Can't reach it. Okay. Open up the door. Okay, so we're outside. Having a stone chair outside is a very odd decision, especially, like... Super weird. Defender of the people. Uh, what about through here, though? This seems like maybe like a back door to the fight. Some kind of force field over there. There's no way we're going this way, it looks like. Why does this even exist? I don't know. Is 
Cinderstein calls this the first floor. We went up the stairs several times to get here, so it's very strange to sit in the first floor. Alright, save the game after the mimic fights. I guess we go. Oh my god, so many locked Soldier. doors. Fiddly things. Okay, great. Made it, no problems. Nobody's in here either. Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate sounds bad. Map of Baldur's Gate depicting the upper city, lower city, and outer city as far as Worms Crossing, as well as Great Harbor and the near course for the Shandar. Arrows show the intended progress of the armor is the absolute, with weak points and city defenses marked with X. Well, that seems bad. Opulent chest. Can't, I can definitely open that up. What's oh, that? and there's a tucked away little compartment over there. That's good to know, too. Letter to Catherick. My darling husband, I know my time is drawing near. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave our little girl. But I'm not writing to lament her a lot. It's ours and no others. Though the city of judgment is dark, I know her lady's light will find me even there. I will see her shining spires and walk the silver gun we both dreamed of. I go to my reward and leave quite a task to Yoon yet, my heart. So Yoon's light shines bright in our little one, but she will need a guide to help her on her path. I have no doubt she will keep you on yours. It is the same path, our lady's path, and one day I know it will bring you back, both back to me. Only not too soon, I hope. I won't say goodbye. There is no loss, only temporary separation. How I love you. Forever Melodot Melodia. So that'd be Catherine's uh, wife. Catherick's wife. She loved him. Before he sold himself to the absolute. Now the cloak of element absorption is interesting. You only it only works once per short rest. I guess who doesn't have a cloak right now? I think Shadowheart doesn't have a cloak? Everybody else does, right? Yeah, I guess the elemental absorption wouldn't be bad on Shadowheart. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Gale already has a cloak, right? Uh, yeah, Gale has... I have a cloak of protection. Okay. Which is pretty good. Yeah, so What's Shadowheart. Let's put you a cloak on. So let's do that. Element absorption. Not fantastic, but doable. Okay, so what about over here that we saw? Elder Brain Domination. Dictated to the scribe Yenethis by General Gethric. Young Gortash's plan to enslave and lift the Elder Brain and make it our marionette under control of the Crown of Karsis has proceeded almost without flaw. Barring the slight delay while our ballast allies shorted out the leadership conflict. The weak point must surely be the sharing of the Nether Stones. It was necessary to secure my engagement and that of the Murder Cult, but eventually it's certain to fracture our fragile alliance. Clearly, all three Nether Stones must be controlled by a single leader, me by preference, but not until after all the stakeholders have made their central contribution. Gortash fears that, energized by the dark energies that corrupt the crown, the brain we now call the Absolute will eventually metamorphose into something new and more difficult to control. If he's right, the need to invest the power of the Nether Stones in a single wielder is urgent. Even more so in that Enver Gortash, at least, must be thinking the same way. Okay, so they've got a giant brain. That sounds bad. There's a lever over here. On oh, a wicker chest. Uh, absolute outfits. Is it worth anything? Adorned with the tripart symbol of the absolute, this ensemble of black and green represents the wearer as either a mocker or devotee of the cult. Or someone who likes the cult or, and color. Or someone who's cold. Okay, it's only worth 11. Not gonna worry about it. Uh, give that to Gale. Give that to Gale. Submissive from Gortash. General, given what we know from my research about the Gith artifact, I can't emphasize enough how critical it is that it be recovered. The power that artifact contains can boost our own efforts to unforeseen levels, but if it falls from the hands of enemies of wit and persistence, it could bring down all of our plans and schemes body of our handpicked captain for the artifact raid wasn't found in the wreckage of the Nautiloid. I'm not at all easy on my mind about that fact. Find the artifact. Employ rigorous means. Do not fail. So you have to random skeleton in his? Okay, that's weird. Invasion plans for a lot of places. Unsent letter could be good. Balthazar, thank you for returning what was mine. I have no doubt all will be well once the war is won. 
After that, I believe our business will be concluded. A different life. A better life awaits. There's a skeleton over here with a bottle in it. Apostle Diary. Most of the texts have been scoured away by time, but what remains appears to be some form of ritual incantation. Your white ribs the pillars, your bleach skull the dome. Take on Apostle's final form, Cathedral Rite of Bustle Dome. And just a bunch of silver and other stuff in here that I don't think is going to be too handy. Stack of books does not have anything good in it, fortunately. And we can't look at these stacks of books for some reason. All the frickin' doors are locked. Okay, there we go. It is the Moonrise Guards keys. That's good. Okay, that goes back to the Mimic. So that goes back outside. Okay, so we just looped. So the actual fight's probably over here. This seems like it has to go outside. That one is, in fact, proper locked. Don't be shy. Guidance and go. Ooh, level 30. Nah, that's difficult. Even with 18, I don't think we're gonna do it. No, not quite. Um, we could try again. We got a lot of thieves tools. Eventually we'll get an at 20. It'll happen. Not today though. Just not yet. We just try keep trying again. We don't need to use inspiration, just keep on using all the thieves tools. We'll eventually get an at 20 or an at one, I suppose, but it'll be possible. But law large numbers. We've got tons of thieves tools. I'm not averse to doing this until we win. That's not gonna win. It's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit. It's okay. Like I said, tons of thieves tools. Ow. Two twos. That's just rude, is what that is. It's the game listening to me and going, um, you sure about that, bud? I guess I could add Bardic. Even with Bardic Inspiration, I don't think it's gonna work. I think we need a nap 20, otherwise it's just not gonna happen. So was the first roll we did, like an 18. So yeah, even with a nat 20, I don't think it's mathematically possible. Oh, there we go. There's our nat 20. I mean, I don't know what the point of this was. If this doesn't help us sneak up on this, what is the point over here? That's a granite branch with holy fire. Why? Why? Ah! It don't go near it, you weirdos. Oh, don't step in that stuff either. Shard prayer book. When I lost my daughter, I learned my purpose. When I learned my purpose, I gathered the flock. When the flock was full, I punished the wicked. When the wicked struggled, I struck them down. My dark goddess, I am yours. Alright, so he's basically promised himself. We can take the ladder. Um, and then jump over? I don't know if that helps us at all. We can go through here. Hopefully not also a 30. Son of a bitch. Yeah, see, even with 18, I still can't reach it. So it needs to be a nat 20 or it's nothing. There we go. There's a nat 20. Okay. Well, I don't know if it was necessarily worth it for this, but we've done it. Hmm. What's that? Oh, uh, we got inspiration for doing it. Never like stairs. Uh, so we pull on the door here, and we can get in, or pull on the lever, and we can get inside. Another moon lantern. Another heavy chest, I guess we can look at. Yeah, go ahead and lock like that. Okay, only a 14, thank goodness. Derivation cloak. When you poison a foe, heal yourself for four hit points. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, we don't really poison again. It's perfect for a rogue, but not for us. Get the engrave, get the Yankee disc. I'm sure Lazel would be interested in that. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. It closely resembles the disc that Lazel deciphered. This time, the symbols easily resolve into coherent words and sentences. The story of Orpheus further unfolds. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. The 
that his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. The chapter ends there. This disc might be of some interest to Lazelle. Okay, we'll talk to her soon as we know we get there. Well, maybe. The books, unfortunately, have no further information for us. Uh, last book? It seems like maybe something you should look at. Why is it clasped? The log on the work of one of Balthazar's necromancers, Crest of Bone Daughter, dated two ten days ago. After the state the fallen one was in, I never expected Cressa would be able to save it. I was hoping the unsurp thing would die. That's what it would have wanted. It's not as if Cressa's stunning is going to improve much. It was damaged in the attack far more than what the mere tadpole could do. But she seems fond of the foul creature. Let her play with it. Another entry seems to be written with the log dated a ten day later. I should not have, in hindsight, let Cressa keep her pet. Even since it was shipped into one of the Nautilus to be deployed, she's been inconsolable. It won't survive out there. It needs me. It isn't like the others. The feral thing will make a fine war for the Absolute, and my best is not distracted thinking about it. Ha, she'll come to heal again soon. Okay, so probably nothing we need to worry about too much. The Rose books have nothing for us, unfortunately. Uh, we're on a corpse here. I, would you want somebody's hearts? No. Okay. I was thinking maybe it'd be a good outcome, Okorini, but maybe not. Uh, so we just looped all the way around for no real good reason. How the heck do we get inside? Oh, well, you know what? It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. What's the story? We need to go up. To the left. And... Okay, only 15. We can get there. There we go. That'll do it. We've gone all around Moonrise Towers. We've looted pretty much as much as we can from this. No word from Balthazar. A little gift. Let's show up in the cabinet. Oh, nothing in the cabinet. Uh, a little gift. I thought I saw that over here. Over there. There we go. Marcus, I assume no explanation is needed for just how rare these appendages are. I trust you shall make good use of them. You have a golden opportunity to please the general. Do not squander it. Access to the unwilling donor has proven difficult since the harvesting, but I'm afforded the opportunity. I shall pass along your gratitude. Signed, Balthazar, no doubt. Okay, just add that to wares. They're really open for a spell book, but no sign of it. Okay, this door is actually not locked, so I don't know. It goes outside. For no good reason. There's some dead guys here. Which we can loot. Oh, okay. Um, you've got a lot of things we can send to camp, at least. Uh, argument solver? That sounds fantastic. When you miss an attack, deal four blood and damage anyway. Weapon enchantment plus one. Okay, I mean, it's alright. It is two handed, which is not great. I think just add that to ours. So there was just a fight outside, which I guess we would have been involved in had we not sent, uh, had we not sent the night song over here. Okay, yeah, open it up. Oh, there we go. Scroll blank. Send that to Gale. Blink would be okay. Blink might be all right. There. There. Yeah, sadly, not as many scrolls as I want there to be. Okay, so we looped all the way around, so we need to go upstairs somehow. How do we go upstairs? Came through here. Um, I have no idea. We've opened all the doors. I guess we haven't opened this one, but that doesn't matter, because that goes back to the area we've already been to, right? Yeah, so just opened up to where the corpse was, the heart. Another apprentice, I suppose, which we also don't really need. How the heck? So I'm really curious about. Oh, okay, that didn't really work. 
Now we need to go up. How the hell do we go up? What I'm wondering about is why there's one door that was a hell of a time to open up. Like, what was the purpose of that? Seems like it might have given us some kind of advantage, but it didn't. All it did was, so that was this one over here, by the way. It was this door that cost us 30 to get in. But there seemed to be no point. I mean, I guess we can go for the ladder. But that goes down, not up. So I'm not sure how that's going to help us. But all right, take a look. I mean, I can jump across here for whatever good that'll do. But then what? We're stuck. You guys can jump over here, but unless you've got some kind of magic... And we can jump down. That's not going to help us either. What the actual hell? We need to go up to encounter Kether Thorn. But how are we going to do this? We can't climb this. This seems like maybe the best shot to be able to get up there. And there's no elevator here. Can I actually jump this? There's not anything for me to... Okay, maybe? Maybe? Oh, come on. Just let me obey this. Okay, there we go. So you can jump up here. The real question is, can anyone follow you? Nope. Is there anything we can do over here? I mean, I can go up the ladder. But if she goes up there, she's going up there alone. Which would be a really bad idea. Oh, we're going to lose HP by dropping down here? God damn it. Alright, so that was not the answer. It really feels like you should be able to climb this, but that's not gonna happen either. How the heck do we get up here? I don't see any stairs. I don't even see a ladder. Now this just goes down and around, which doesn't help us. Uh, maybe we go up here? Maybe this... Maybe there's a... Uh, like a root or something I didn't see. No, I don't see anything here. I'm very puzzled. What the hell? The roots go along here, but... Nothing we can actually use to get up there. Even if they go through the... Like go this way. Can jump up here. Not enough space to land on it and nowhere to go up even if I did. What the actual heck? I'm missing something obvious here. I don't know what it is though. Now this just goes back the way we came. There's no additional stairs back this way. So we came through here, we fought the necromites and her necromancer. But then, how the hell do we get up? I mean, there's roots to go back down. Maybe we need to go down to go up? It's strange, but... No, no, this just... Okay, this is just where they were shooting us from. Right? Uh, yeah, basically, this is how they're dug out over there. Which is not at all helpful. And we could jump along here to get some other perspectives, but it's not really going to help us. No, no, no. We need to go up. We need to go up. We looted the mimic, right? Yeah, okay. We looted the mimic. Okay. What the actual shit? Is there, like, a, a secret door behind the bookcase? Because that's classic. No? Not a way? Okay. Like, seriously. What the shit? Oh, there's a traveler's chest over here, which probably open. Okay, just some more chemical ingredients. Really, that's got to be Gale more than anybody else. The nearest library. How about this? Yep, more chemical ingredients. Okay, I mean, take what I can get. Oh, you know what? Pull. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do any of this. Save versus the poison cloud, that's good, but I totally did not do that correctly. We do have protection over poison as a standard buff. 
but that just means we take half damage from it. God damn it. Okay, so the poison cloud is gonna go through here, which sucks. But I pulled the wrong book. Galvanic interrogations. So not poisons and venoms then. Musty tomes. Recipe of drop poison. Galvanic interrogation. God damn it. Okay, what the hell? Oh, did it create? It created bad guys. God damn it. So much for galvanic interrogations. Okay, let's smack him one more time. There, then get over here. Heading out. Okay, so we just gotta poke the secret door enough to be able to make this work. So maybe it's only that guy. Might only be that guy. I'm ready. Strike hard, strike fast. Okay, good miss. Oh yeah, it's only the one dude. Okay, that's not too bad. A little bit of a penalty for doing this. All right, so other glass on you. Okay, so it wasn't galvanic interpretations or interrogations, whatever the hell. So conventional medicine. God damn it! Not that one either. How are you supposed to know? How are you supposed to know? Okay, snap out stars apprentice. Not the poisons and venoms. Musty tomes. Okay, well, I click this over here. Insert items. Insert what? I don't know what I'm supposed to be inserting here. Like, we've got a bunch of small little things, like broken moon lanterns and stuff, but, like, scribbled notes seems unlikely. Memory shard seems unlikely. The key? We have an engraved key. Let's try the engraved key. Nope, that wasn't it. If it's not the key, then how are we supposed to know what to put in here? What the actual shit? The lever over here. Oh, that just opens the doors again. Okay. Okay, so it was the right thing, but the wrong... Maybe the moon lantern over here. Maybe we need to do this. Where's the moon lantern at? Come on, I just saw it over here. Moon lantern. This one? Over there it is. Got the moon lantern. I don't know if we necessarily need to use this, but it's worth a shot. We'll see if we can put the moon lantern in here. See if that's a thing. Because the broken one doesn't seem like that would work, but a regular moon lantern maybe. Nope, not that. Okay, so it's not a moon lantern. What the fuck do I actually need here? Right, about sort of the apprentice. Right, he got turned into necromantic material. What am I missing? Need a puzzle to freaking get to the boss fight. What the shit? Oh, I wonder if you need a heart. Uh, uh maybe? Alright. Well, let's grab the heart then. Okay, what about Buster's personal notes? Maybe he hasn't it. It's all drained beneath the library's conventional medicine shelf. It's a wasteful let all the blood seep the flagstones with rust spikes and sides. Smug is my sweet dreams. Okay, so, so much for that. Okay, let's grab the heart, I guess, which is disgusting, and try to put it over here. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Throw the shots. That was it. Okay, because it's the necromancer open. That kind of makes sense. Okay. Uh, still no way up. The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. Dead but they Dixie. were already imbued with Netherese magic. So where did that magic come from? Blood-filled bowl, gobble of dead tadpoles. Okay. It's a torture chair. Bottle rack. Research dance. I redirected some materials from beneath the tower. I plan to simply raise what forces I need inside the mausoleum itself, but the general prefers that no more of his family curse be disturbed. 
Even so, I may have no choice. The devil will not surrender the Night Song easily, and General's invulnerability depends on it. I'm sure he will forgive a little transgression if it frees the army to move on Baldur's Gate at last. Woody, though. Woody, though. Take that with his evidence, maybe. Okay, Burst of a Trade Master. Let me see what this one. Kind of plain. Not really wild about it. Uh, let's see. No, yeah, you want to go and pick that up for me? You want to go and sell it? Not the chair. Come on, the pic the freaking picture. All right, never mind. What about the opulent chest? Oh, it's locked. Of course it is. What a charmer. Should do. Okay, great. No problems. Get in easily. Necrotic resistance and a cold brim hat. Once per turn, any condition inflicted on a target also applies two turns of encrusted with frost. I've turned the hat and gazing into it, you'd get the slightly vertiginous feeling as if you were looking into a cold abandoned well with no discernible end. So encrusted with frost has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay, that's pretty good. And there's seven. Oh, okay, so this applies two turns of it. All right, so you just have to keep on stacking it. That could work out. Uh, I don't know if Gale has a hat right now. Gale, do you have a? Do you have something to wear you on your head? Attention. You do. You have the Diadem Arcane Synergy. You need Arcane Synergy for two rounds. I don't know. If we're going cold, and it kind of seems like we are, this might be better for you. Don't you look fancy. Don't you look fancy. You look a proper wizard now. That's that's good. Okay. Rosa books are not handy, so what the actual shit? It's right above us. We just need to be able to get over there somehow. It's a big pot here for some reason. Yeah, a lot of broken moon lanterns, dead pixies, dead tadpoles. Doesn't tell me how to get up. How in the nine realms are we supposed to do this? The doors all open up at least. Um, exit out here maybe takes us somewhere. Now there's more radiant leftovers. I don't know what else to call it. Nothing else we need to worry about though. There's no, there's no stairs. There's no stairs up. Purely made by a person who already knows how to fly. I guess we came from that direction. Oh, is it what actually this simple? It's actually just over here. No, that's that's where we came in. There's no other ways up or around. Okay, so we came through. Yeah, okay. I mean, there's a lot of books over here, but nothing we can actually look at. So maybe she was she was guarding the way up. That's what it was. I spent all that time, and all it was was the door was over here, just off on the side where no one could see it. Oh, it teleported us. I was not expecting that. Well, that's gonna be a tough fight, isn't it? You. What have you done? What have you done to me? I mean, you're mortal, but... Oh, there we go. We, we've we read some stuff. Okay, so the trip downstairs wasn't a total waste. We found out some history about him. We talk about his wife. We might be able to convince him to stand down. So Melody wanted more for you than this, Catherick. Stop, and you may redeem yourself yet. Okay, definitely add guidance there. It's only a 10. We can do it. There you go. There is no redemption, can't you see? It is too late. If Melodia could see all I've done, she'd know. She'd know her husband died long ago with Isabel. Unlike Isabel, he could not be brought back. Now that is waiting for you in the afterlife. Return to sell you and your souls will be reunited. I wish it could be so. I do. 
But the Moon Maiden did not intervene when my life was dismantled piece by piece. And when I tried to buy it back, it cost me everything. Everything. We are copper pieces in their belts. Tokens to be traded for scraps. You have beaten me, true soul. But the gods beat me first. All right. Um, I mean, the thing is, I don't think we get to decide this, right? The night song's here, and she's completely going to destroy us. Or destroy him, rather. Uh, I mean, I could. we could try this. So I can help you, Catherick, if you let me. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. She's gonna come in. Aelin. Rise, you dog. Retribution has come, and her sword is my sword. Mm. Alright, we say and mine that starts the fight. Stand back and watch. I don't think she's going to be able to do a coup de gras here. I don't think he's just going to wait to do that. We can try to delay her, but I don't know if this is going to work. So he has surrendered. Ha! Catherick Thorne would sooner die than lay down his rank cause. Isn't that right, General? Crap. I was a fool to hesitate. Power like mine cannot be hidden, cannot be cowed. But power like mine has a price. A price I am destined to pay. Damn it, Night Song. I could have stabbed you in you the face. You have one last chance to bow. Once it's gone, I'll have no choice but to destroy you both. Do you hear? Bow! Oh, casting command. Oh, but artifact says no. Funny you went to the Will. Prism. You've had it all this time, you worm. You will bow before me. And if you will not bow, you will break. He will crumble at the power of your touch. Give him all you have. The gods fight at our side. All right, here we go. Okay, he's got friends, because he's always got friends. Yeah, there's some freaking necromites over here. Uh, but we should be able to wall up them some good ones here. Let's see what we got. We got some scorching rays. Not a terrible idea. That's not, sorry, that's because it's from there. Sorry, this person probably also needs to go though, because this is probably a caster. Not as much damage as I was Good, before. it's hot in here. Well, well. Look what we have here. Oh, come on. Why do you always miss the first one? Okay, that's good at least. And then, yeah, Flurry of Bliss. Okay, there he is. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to jump down, but okay. He's coming right for us. Deadly orders. Focus, you're oh, okay. Soldiers. They're all going to focus on you. Okay. Okay, Gale. Now's the time to be really magical. Let's go with Ice Storm. Hit all of those guys. Is there another way we can hit this? Okay, if I go here, uh, I don't want to hit. Okay, I want to hit the dog. And. Come on, can we hit all four of them? Okay, if I put it there, yes. Then it doesn't hit the dog. If I put it here. There we go, it hit the dog. Okay, but it's probably better to hit. Uh, I don't want to hit. I don't want to hit. Uh, Carlac. 
All right, this will be good though. Let's do this. Oh, the iron is hot. Okay, good. That's everybody there. The dog get get knocked, and he's only knocked. Okay, still not too bad this. though. Okay, Shadow Hearts. You'll probably want to come over here. Oh, because for... oh, you're going past you got the dorm, right? All right. Okay, let's go ahead and do Arl standby. Okay. I want you to come over here and hit these guys. On my way. Okay. <gasps> Keep on raising bad guys. That's gonna suck. Yep. Okay. That hurts. Good hits. Good hits. I'm gonna try to get down to her. She made all her concentration saving throws. So that's good. Try to dash to get over to her, but that dash made it so you couldn't do anything else. You just can't seem to hit him, huh? All right, let me help you out with that. Oh, he saved versus the fairy part. That's too bad. Uh, can't really do much else. Now this is my happy place. All right, let's go ahead and hit Captain Thorn. Seems like it might be able to distract him a little bit. You're not gonna like this, mate. Good crits. Oh, all right. Smacked her down, unfortunately. Well, but open up for opportunity attack. Okay, now they're all gonna shoot on Will. Focus your attack, soldiers. Okay, Gale. Let's see what we got you here for. Oh, you're frightened? God damn it. Can you do anything at all? Okay, you can still do this. You're immobile, but you can still do it. Let me cast at this guy. I mean, you're immobile, so I think the answer is no. We do like a bunch of magic missiles here. Alright. Let's go towards Kethrick. Oh, you're frightened too? God damn it. I uh, can't cast heroism, so that's unfortunate. Alright, let's do Sacred Flame. Unlike you guys. Actually, let's probably just heal yourself. That's probably better. Take you. That didn't work? How did it not work? You just hit with that. Uh. Okay, you keep on incubating these things. That seems like a really bad idea. We should probably try to get to you eventually. Yeah, okay, they're gonna try to hit Will now. Uh. Well, just slow them down, please. Yeah, the incubation sucks. Alright. Are you frightened? No, you're not frightened. Okay, good. You're not frightened. Let's apply heroism. Oh, it's a touch spell. Uh, Karlak? No, yeah, attack, attack for opportunity for that. Can't reach Shadow Hearts. I just can't do heroism, unfortunately. That requires a touch. Okay. Well. I shatter here, just the necromite. I want to take care of the person who's causing the necromite, so her. Uh, if I do it here, I can get maybe both of them. Let's do that. Okay. That'll help. Maybe want to get away from this. Uh, I don't think we can miss this step at all, so I think just... Fairy fire is not helping now. Let's drop the fairy fire and drop his his highest stat. Maybe his dex. Well, 
he's got really good charisma. He's got really good stats across the board. Uh, if we drop his dex, everyone should be able to hit him. Drop his strength, he won't be able to do as much damage, but I think the dex is probably the better target here. Then try to run a little bit. Finding my way. All right, Karlak, it's go time. Okay. Hit this guy for sure. Why do you always miss your first hit? Oh god damn it! He just keeps on knocking. God damn it! Wow. Didn't just knock him, also killed him. Right up to Gale, unfortunately. Uh, can't Thunder Wave to push you back, but we can at least do this. Yeah, 12%. Okay, now what I need to do is Misty Step Away, I think. Let's do that. Then just magic missile him, I think. Uh, one damage on all those. That was really bad. Need to stay focused. Okay. See if we can. We might be able to res well, but it's gonna take a bit. Um. You're still frightened? No, you're okay. You're okay. Okay. Let's see if we can take you guys out. Got to press on. Hurt there. Actually, Shadow Hearts really hurt. Just cannot seem to hit this guy. Carlisle's getting back up. Can't quite get over there, but if I come over here and fully. Okay, I mean, that Enough. also did damage. My lord. Beckons me. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel. Oh, got distracted. Bad timing. What the hell? Do you have an undead kraken? do this ourselves. Uh, Karlak, you're out of turn, aren't you? I could flurry of blows if I could frickin' find you. Where are you? I don't know where he went. I have no idea. I don't have a target. Let me recite their demise. Okay, well, I mean, Ray of Frost is like this. Oh, this takes you out. Okay, there's still more bad guys around. Karlak, we can take these guys out. Good. Okay, looks like Jahir is about to show up. Well, that was it. Okay, well, let's get Will up. We don't to loot Will. Time to pack it in for the day, I think. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do a long rest. I agree with that. Take two. Okay. Well, we're alive. It's a near thing, but we're freaking alive. That's only because he left in the middle of the battle when he was very clearly just about to win. A hero at heart. Uh, we are out of short rest, so yeah, we got a long rest for this for sure. Um, let's go, let's go to camp. Let's do that. Let's go to camp and long rest. 
we definitely need it. It's not over, though, yet. Catholic Thorm is still alive, so we gotta go find him where the hell he went. I'm sure somebody has a good answer for that. Uh, what's your problem here, Gale? Oh, Gale's mirror image. Oh, did he do something stupid? Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. Gladly. How Simply follow it? yonder path, and soon you will find him. Ah, that was to be a simple... Okay, um, you know, we can do a, we can do a long rest right now. We can do that after we go to sleep, I guess. Or is that not the way this works? Nope, not the way this works. Oh, because we're... Dreaming? I don't know what's going on here. Gail, what the fuck? Hello? You weirdo? I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. When you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. It's an interesting way to call it stars. The timelessness okay. of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. All right. Why did you summon me here? What's this all about? I wanted to see you. While I still could. Oh, still thinking about blowing up, huh? This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of... beauty and wonder. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. I mean, is this truly what you want? To die for the promise of mysterious forgiveness? Babe or crone. Coward or hero. Death is assured. Mistra's forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I mean... I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. I mean, you don't have to die. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't even found it yet, so why are you so sure it's inevitable? I can feel it. Ever since we set foot in this strange, corrupted land. The closer we get, the heavier my own heart becomes. Stay with me a while, will you? Day will come all too soon, even in this place. All right, fine, we'll just hang out. Yes, but there is so much to live for and so few moments in which to house it all. Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about. Our friends, our adventures. <laughs> this would have been so much easier if it was just me. But it isn't. If there is a way, any way, to save all that's grown dear to me, I want to cease it. I just cannot fathom what that might be other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Right. Stay with me, will you? I mean, just ask that. I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone, either. Didn't we just answer that question? All right, let's stare, watch the stars in silence. At least hang out with him. The least we can do for a friend, right? Be with him whenever he's feeling down. At least the shadow fell doesn't... Or not, I guess, the shadow fell necessarily, but the shadow curse on the forest doesn't block the stars. Hmm. Gale's no longer in the party, though? That can't be right. It's not right, is it? 
No, okay, he's still in the party. Okay, just was weird there for a minute. All right, well, I'll go ahead and buff everybody. For right now, thanks for watching. This has been Baldur's Gate 3. I'm PC Universe, your PC Universe, and I'll see you guys next time.